Hey everyone, uh, Matt, welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a very unique type of travel trailer. This one's kind of a crossover, half destination trailer, half travel trailer. This is a 2022 Jayco J Flight model 38 BHDS. We are gonna take a look at some of the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this J-Flight and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited today to be taking a look at this awesome, unique travel trailer, the J-Flight. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. Yes! Um, we're, at, we're in Orlando, and like you said, Matt, this is kind of a hybrid between a uh, travel traditional travel trailer and a destination trailer. Yes, what's that mean? It's It's like that feel of a destination trailer but it's actually not as tall i think the weight will be a little bit better mm -hmm. um so you'll see similarities and differences for for both of those so. and the big thing will it's going to be a lot easier to transport yes. than that destination model Correct. will let's begin model is jayco j flight 30h bhds the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 40 feet six inches the dry weight is 8,440 pounds and the hitch weight is 1,135 pounds. Right up front here we do have a very nice Lippard power tongue jack. Now this is something that you don't normally get on destination models because they don't want people moving them. This again makes it easy to get yes, on and off your yeah. truck. Right here you're going to get propane tanks. Your batteries go here. Now this is the Jayco J Feather and this unit was optioned with the fiberglass sides you look right there you can get this unit with the aluminum corrugated sides personally i like the fiberglass yeah, it's easier to it clean, looks nice longer lasting right here you do got the diamond plate rock guard there and then coming on down the side here man that's a little unique no storage right there oh yeah because it is a bunk room and if you look down there it's mm. because there's something very unique about this here is something that i do love Furion 360 cameras. Not only can you get a Furion camera for reverse, but you can get the side cameras as well. And if you guys don't know, Furion's a Lippert company. We'll actually link, Lippert sponsor of the show, we'll actually link where you can get these Furion cameras on their website down in our description below. But it's really cool because with this being such a long travel trailer, this is actually going to, uh, when you put your blinkers on, you'll be able to see what's going on in your blind spots while you're towing. That's awesome. Big shout out Furion. Right there, Will, we do got manual stabilizing jacks. Now, I don't hate that because even though this is hybrid, most of the time you are going to be leaving this so you don't need that auto leveling or the electric stabilizer. Right. Because this is a Jayco, you do got that two-year warranty, three-year structural. And then look at this here, this Will. This is cool. Check this. Okay, one, we got the steps that we hate. Womp, yep. womp. But I'm okay with them on this unit because look at this. You have an awesome sliding glass door so here's why i love the sliding glass door and here's why i don't mind these steps because a lot of people who are buying this unit is keeping it parked at a seasonal spot okay? right and they're building a patio right so they don't need these steps they don't yep. need the solid steps they don't need to waste that additional <clears throat> money on solid steps and um if you well, had the solid steps you wouldn't be able to have the sliding glass door ah exactly exactly 100 percent well but even the aluminum steps, like, don't even waste the money on Right, they're getting can, taken off, probably. Exactly. You can always upgrade the aluminum steps. Okay, coming on down the side here, this talking about that Smart Vision with Furion, really nice. Thermal package, heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks, very nice. Right, here's where your potable water fill is. Potable. Potable. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Yes. Uh, coming on down the side here, we do got cable and coax and power for the outside here's where you can mount the tv and then look at these tires will do the goodyear tires i love those st225-75 r15 very different here's yeah. why it's different again destination trailer i'm not putting the nicest tires on right so that is a little unique kind of like the steps you know what i'm saying yeah um so cool cool good for that coming on down the side here 
we do got another entry. This is to the master bedroom. Okay. okay. Same with the crappy steps. We'll address these steps towards the end of the video. Okay. Coming around the, coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Very nice. Right there, you can see that. That is where the Furion camera prep is. And there is a unique ladder, Will. Yeah. You think this came off or what? I don't know. It's sturdy. Okay. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Very simple roof. Right up there, you can see that it does have your WineGuard digital antenna. Here we go now. All right, be careful coming down. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up with the driver's side. Right over here. Oh, that's unique, 30 amps. Huh. Even though it's two AC AC? use. Okay. Yeah. Right here's your water heater, cables, hook up and everything. Coming on down the side. Dang, uh -oh. Nabbit, well, you got the master key. I don't. Okay, a little bit of storage. We'll be able to see this from under the bed yeah, on the inside. Yeah. Uh, this is the king size bed for the master. Okay. Right over here, great place. Nice place to dump the tanks. That's actually super important there. You know what I just realized? What's that? I left my RV keys at home in Maryland. Nice. Hmm. Um, when, when, when we go back to my house, make sure I grab mine. Okay. Uh, right here, we do got an outdoor shower, black tank flush, city connection and everything. So wait, what about for your RV? Right, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like my RV keys. Well, you didn't deadbolt <laughs> it, did you? No. Oh, good. Because I do have a master, so. Good, good. I good. guess I can do the other lock. Yeah. Great. And then right over there, Will, a little bit more storage. This is in the front bunk room and everything. Okay. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. After you, sir. All right. Okay, up here in the front is that bunk room. Then we have the living area, dining area, kitchen here. Coming back, you have the bathroom right here. And the bedroom all the way in the back. Where are we starting today? We're going to start up front here. Okay. Again, big shout out to Furion for sponsoring this episode. If you guys want the backup camera, 360 camera, use our link down in the description below. Cool. Well, very last minute trip to Orlando, so it's a little yeah. dark on the inside, okay? Um, but still not <clears> that <throat> bad. Right up front here is the bunk room. I love this. Yeah. So many people are buying this travel trailer and they don't have kids. They're using this part for their storage. You got a bunk right here, bunk right there with the window. You got storage around the bend right there. Okay. Does that one lift or no? This? This no. bed? No. Okay. No. I was about to say, that would have been very impressive. Yeah. Another storage compartment right there. Okay. And then right over here, this is very unique. This is the dinette that right. also drops down to make a bed. I love that. I like that a lot. Here's why I like that. Because if you have little kids, and they want to color back here, they want to eat cheese and bologna or they want to play with legos they can do that back here and they're not in the living room doing right. that because everybody knows to step on a lego huh, that's mm. worse than running a marathon will right and then through here there is a pocket door okay okay and then check out this living room area theater seat directly across from the tv entertainment center yep. love that right here we got this tv so not only that well something else that i really love is that your sofa's right across from right. the uh, door. good point. So you, if you do have a nice view and everything, you got a nice big window. Insignia TV sound system right here. We do got a little bit of storage underneath there. Okay. And some decent storage right there. Cool. Now notice right over here that they're not putting carpet in the unit. Right. Did they always not put carpet in or is that like a newer thing? I feel like that's a newer thing. I feel like that's a newer thing as well. Stacy Stewart collection, very nice sofa. Nice balances here. Okay. Stacy Stewart does a great job. Which one do you think Stacy is? Uh, I don't know. I bet you it's her. Yeah, that was. She looks like Stacy. Yeah. Unless they're both Stacy, or one Stacy and one Stewart. Maybe. Hey. 
And then let's, this is a tri-fold sofa. No, Stacy Stewart's one person. Because it would have been like Stacy and Stewart. Right. Check that out. Because we wouldn't do the Matt Will collection. We'd do the Matt and Will collection. Matt and Will. Yep, exactly. Or would it be Will and Matt? Matt and Will. Maybe Matt and William. Because <laughs> William does some. Or the William Matthew. Ooh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lippard. The William Matthews collection. I like that. That'd be funny. Okay. Uh, nice trifold sofa. Very nice. Why is there an S on Matthews? Why not? <laughs> you know, it just sounds more sophisticated. Right. And then over here, Will, check that out. Very nice, huge U-shaped dinette. Yeah, very nice. I like that. Love the U-shaped dinette. Storage underneath there. Okay. Storage underneath there. funny because it's like warm today but not hot if that makes sense right it's a nice day actually very nice to pop it up takes no time at all you do have these crummy balances okay um but the u-shaped dinette i love especially in a unit like this it's going to be great for people that have family or guests and everybody can sit around the table having a good time yeah well, you ready to show everybody the kitchen? Of course, but before I do, I want to give a quick reminder, guys, we are now partnering with RV Retailer. So if you see this unit or any other unit that we show that you like, make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out one of the three contact forms, and Matt and I will personally oversee it to make sure you get awesome service, a great price, and just the best buying experience in the industry. Perfect. So we're right over here in the kitchen. It's a decent sized kitchen. Yeah. Um, great cabinet space up top. Nice window on your camping side. Little spray faucet right here. Double bowl sink. And some storage underneath. Now that storage underneath there does connect to that other okay, door cool. there. Okay, cool. Got a couple drawers here. Not solid surface countertops. Okay, okay. And then over here, you got the smaller high point microwave. Yes. Range hood right there. Hood range. Three burner Fury on cooktop. And this is just like a fake backsplash, like a wallpaper. It's, it not, it's nice. not fake. Well, that's real. That's the real deal. Yeah. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. It does look nice. Oh, um, can you open that again? I'm yep. sorry. Furion oven. Very yep. nice. This is still tape closed. Oh, not anymore. Not anymore. And then here you do have the um, 12 volt compressor refrigerator, which is very nice. That's a I huge like that. fridge. It is. And some nice pantry space right there. Yes, sir. Cool. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh man, it's radius shower. Oh my God, in a trailer like this? All right. How dare you? <laughs> Will, we're stopping the video right now. All right. It's not so a bad size radius shower. It's not, and the head height is good. You know, and it's kind of like I wish they got rid of this because you yep. don't need you so don't need much that. storage. Maybe you put another cabinet above the toilet or you something like that. You don't need that. This is crap. Yeah, it's it's overkill. Yep. It would have been better to have a bigger shower. Or not only that, well, look at all this. Like you could have put something right here instead of right, right there. Exactly. Like I feel like there's some dead space over here. We got a nice sink. Um, but way too much space. Yeah. You know? To be honest, you didn't need anything. Right. Else, I don't think. Did somebody pee in that already? No, no. Um, yeah. If they did pee, they're not alive anymore because it's bright pink. Oh. <sighs> Man, well, it is porcelain. It is porcelain. Okay, but like, I mean, it's passing. But like, I almost don't want to pass it because of how big this trailer is. Right. But I mean, pass is passing. Feeling. Yeah. It's a prime poop position. Bing. Uh, Jen, please make that a small one. Um, it's not worthy of a big one. Right. Not with how big and amazing this child trailer is. Exactly. So finishing up in the master bedroom, this is what I do love. Yes. King size bed on the slide out, Will. Very, very nice. We got um oh, oh screen, screen door. door. Very cool. Very cool. What is that storage? Yes. And then you see how it all connects to go yep. through to the outside. Very nice. Cabinetry above and something else that I love, the two side windows as well. Yeah 
give you that cross ventilation for the stuffiness. Um, back here, we got big wardrobe space. Nice drawer. Those are nice big drawers. Big drawers. Storage right here. I like how they're at least using it, even though and not putting like small drawers in, because you can just yeah stuff stuff away in there. Uh, back here is just the countertop, which is kind of different. I like that window there. Yep. But it just doesn't make sense right here. Okay, and the TV would mount in here in cool. another great big window. Well, well, people are dying to know what the MSRP is, and we will let them know. But first, we got to tell people three things we love about this unit. Three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. Okay. Very easy. Very, you yeah. know what? This is a great trailer for the review because for me, it's very easy for me to identify three things I like and three things right. I don't like. I would agree. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first thing, if you don't mind, if I can go first, this master bedroom. Right. This is great. This has a slide out and it's in the rear, so I like it for two reasons. One, it's helping with that hitch weight while towing because that front, it doesn't have the front slide out, it's the rear slide out. Yep. And then two, to combo that, screw the kids, they're not making the monthly payment on this. You right. guys are. So it's nice to have the nice big bedroom. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. And if somebody's gonna have the smaller room, it could be them. That's right. That's number one. Well, number two. Okay, I'm gonna go up front. Um, This bunk room, I do feel like is a really good setup. Specifically, I love this dinette. A lot of times yes. in travel trailers, they'll try to pack a dinette like under another bunk and it's tight and everything. This is nice because it's nice and open. The kids can actually work there. And it's a little bit of a smaller kitchen, so you might have to use that dinette to do a little bit of cooking or prepping. Um, so this way you're not trying to fight with the kids over the, the table space. While exactly. To color or whatever, like you said. I love it. That's number two, Will. Okay. And then tell me number three. Number three you're is You're standing gonna... right there. <laughs> The, um, um, well, kind of a combo. Yes, it is. The couch straight across from the TV. Yep. And the sliding glass door being right, well, the sliding glass door is In one, general, yep. And then being right across from the couch is, is another. 100,000%. Well, I was actually thinking both of them myself. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's just great. Like the sofa placement, yep. the nice big glass door, everything. Yep. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Okay. Will, do you want to go first? I can, and I'll piggyback off of mine earlier. Is Again, for how big this trailer is, I do feel like this kitchen is really small. Mm, yes. You know, there's not a lot of counter space. The fridge is good size. Yep. Um, but there's not a lot of counter space. There's not a lot of cabinet space. Microwave's tiny. The microwave's small, yeah. And I'm going to yeah, I'm, I'm gonna add on to that, Will, with, with another valid point. You know, this is... This is for the person who like spends their weekends at the same place every yeah. year. Yeah. So they're not camping two, three times a year. Right. And it's a person that's always goes to the same plot spot. Right. Probably in a rural area. They're not going to your yep. local KOA. And so there's not like a McDonald's or a Pizza Hut every yep. two minutes. So it is the person that is gonna be cooking some. Yep. That's right. Statistically. Hmm. That's number one. Will, number two, only because, I mean, we have to. There is tons of space back here, and they could have made the, they could have made this a kick-butt trailer. They could have. If they just made this a huge shower. Yeah, I agree. I'll eliminate that altogether. It's stupid, it's unnecessary, and it would have been kick-butt and awesome. So that's number two, and then, well, number three is going to be these black steps yeah again up front i said it was okay but back here just not okay not acceptable and again mm. it does, one it should be the solid steps but two even if it's not the solid steps give us the aluminum steps yeah i agree well well that's three things we like about three things we don't like about it do you know what time it is it's, it's now, now time, time for, for the, the msrp, MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. and guess what what we actually don't know the msrp uh -oh. so with a little bit of tv magic jen burr, there is the MSRP right there on the screen so everybody to see. But, Will, we know nobody pays MSRP. So if you guys are interested in this unit, all you guys have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. As Will said earlier, we got a nationwide network of dealerships. New York, Florida, Texas to California. Send us an email. We'll get you in contact with our closest partner. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? 
yeah of course guys thank you so much for watching this is a really cool trailer again like matt like we said earlier it's going to be kind of that hybrid yeah you're not going to want to be taking it everywhere right but it's certainly a lot more movable than a destination trailer. absolutely make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like three things you dislike make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody so much yes, for watching and we'll we'll, we'll see, see you next time, time.